So first, I want to thank the organizers for the invitation. It's my great pleasure to give this talk in the special session of Lagrangian mean curve flow. Today, I will talk about the construction of special Lagrangian vibrations on log labial surfaces. And this will be the first part of the talk. And this is a joint work with Tristan Collins and Adam Jacob. And so the talk, the talk will be split into a few parts. So first I will try to um, explain the terminology that happens in the title of the talk, the Calabial manifolds, special Lagrangian submanifolds, and I'll explain something called hypercare rotation. And then I'll explain how does Lagrangian mean curve flow enter the story. Then I'll explain the so-called strominger yao zaslow conjecture. And then I'll, state if, I'll give you the statement of the theorem and a cartoon of the proof. So we start with Calabi yao manifolds. And so you, here you see the picture of Calabi and Yao. And this is the um, projection of the Calabi yao threefolds. So what is a Calabi yao? Exactly. So a Calabial manifold is a complex manifold with a nowhere vanishing holomorphic tau form. We use this capital omega to denote it. And usually this is already the definition of a Calabial for algebraic geometers. But in this talk, I will further ask, um, there exists a one one form little omega, which is positive and non-degenerate and declosed. And this is usually what we call the killer metric. So this omega here is usually what do we call the killer form. But more than that, I'll ask that this um, little omega was satisfied an equation such that it wedged to the top, it's now become a, a real two n form, and that's equal to the capital omega, wedged with its complex conjugate up to some constant. And this is what usually people call the complex modulum paid equation. And so I'll give you some examples. So the first examples is the elliptic curve. So recall that on C, or maybe C is an example. So if the coordinate is Z, um, one can easily write down the capital omega it is simply DZ. So it's easy to see that it's a nowhere vanishing holomorphic one form. And little omega is simply dz with dz bar and with some constant in front. And it's easy to see that it's a Calabia with the definition above. And so an elliptic curve as c was quotient by a lattice. And the above structure. Um, what descend to the quotient. And so an elliptic curve is always a Calabial and the sense above. And same thing to complex tori. And so there are some more complicated examples. Um, so if you consider a degree n plus one hypersurface inside projected uh, m space, and dimensional projective space, they're always Calabial um, by a junction formula. One can easily um, write down the nowhere vanishing holomorphic n, n form 
on this hypersurface. And the hard part is to prove that there exists um, the solution to the complex Mondrian-Pay equation. And this is done by Yao and known as the solutions to the so-called Calabi conjecture. And so there's not, so there are also non-compact Calabi Yaos. And so an important class of non-compact Calabi Yaos are given by Tian and Yao, and which were described in more details later. In Psychology Yao, there is a very important class of submanifold introduced by Harvey and Lawson called spatial Lagrangians. And so if we start with a half-dimensional submanifold of X of a Calabi Yao, we said that it's a Lagrangian if it's killer form reached on L equal to zero. And we said that if the imaginary part of the holomorphic N0 form up to some um, phase function here is zero, then we say that it's special. And one reason why special Lagrangians are important because they're always minimal some manifold among its, it's always minimal some manifold and they're always the area minimizer among their homology class. So there are some examples. So if we start with an elliptic curve, recall that we have the killer form and the holomorphic volume form. So if, so I will draw the fundamental domain of X uh, of this elliptic curve. If I draw in something like this, uh, say for example, I, I draw this, um, the image of a straw line from C, then this is, um, it's easy to see that if this is L, which is one dimensional, and it's easy to see that as example of a, a special Lagrangian. And since this is uh, on the Riemann surface, and so any one dimensional submanifold is a Lagrangian by definition. So this gives you some first example of special Lagrangians. And there are another important uh, source of examples of spatial Lagrangians. So they're coming from, if we start with hyperkeular surface, and uh, you start with some holomorphic curves, and we do the so-called hyperkeular rotation, um, that will give you some spatial Lagrangians, which I'll explain in the next slides. But in general, we have very little examples of special Lagrangians. And this mainly because we don't know the behavior of Ricci flat matrix in general. So I will say more about what is hyperkeral rotation. So any Calabial surface is hyperkeular in the sense that um, a hyperkeular surface is manifold as something with um, holonomy group in SPN. And because SP1 is isomorphic to SU2, and so any Calabial surface, they're, they're always hyperkeular. And so a characteristic of hyperkeular surface or hyperkeular manifolds is that they will have an S2 family of complex structures. 
And here I wrote down um, the Kähler form and the holomorphic volume form on the correspond respect to the corresponding complex structure. And I will particularly write down the, the uh, explicit uh, one one form and two zero form respect to the complex structures parametrized by the equator. And so if I start from some hypercalar surface was the Kähler form omega and holomorphic two zero form capital omega, then any holomorphic curve inside X, it cannot support any holomorphic two form. And so we have the direction from left to right. On the other hand, um, so the, the other direction is given by the so-called Wertinger inequality. And if the two zero form retreat on L is strictly zero, then um, when we change the complex structure to the one that given by the equator, then one can see that this part retreat on L, the, the new Kähler form retreat on L is equal to zero. And the new holomorphic volume form has their has its imaginary part retreat on L equal to zero. And this is exactly the definition of special Lagrangian. In other words, if you have a hyperkähler surface, you start with a holom holomorphic curve in that you can always change to a different complex structure such that it becomes special Lagrangian. And this is usually known as the hyperkähler trick, rotation trick. So um, to find special Lagrangians, um, an idea is using Lagrangian mean curve flow. So if we start with a Lagrangian, then we restrict the holomorphic top form on L, it can always be written in terms of its volume form times exponential i theta for some function theta. Originally, the theta is an S1, is an S1 value function only. The prior right, S is an, theta is an S1 value function. If we can lift to um, a function with value in R, then we said L as a graded Lagrangian. And so by def from the definition above, if theta is a constant, then we say it's a special Lagrangian. And in the case of Kalab Yao, the mean curvature vector is you, you take the phase function theta, you take the gradient, and you twist it by the almost complex structure. Then the main curvature flow is a family of um, some manifolds inside X such that um, it's evolving in the direction of main curvature vector. And so it's given by this equation. And it is proved by Smolzek that the Lagrangian condition is preserved under mean curvature flow 
um, in the case of Calabi Yao, and that's, we call it the Lagrangian main curve flow. And Lagrange min curve flow has a good property that it preserved the so-called Hamiltonian isotopy class, which is an important property for people doing simplex geometry. And there exists at most one special Lagrangian and a given Hamiltonian isotopy class, proved by Thomas and Yao. And they proposed to use this Lagrangian min curve flow to find a unique special Lagrangian representative. And this is how this Lagrangian main curve flow comes in as a, a tool to find special Lagrangians. However, it may not be as easy as people thought in the beginning. An example of, of Lagrangian main curve flow uh, found by Navis that it can develop finite time singularities, even n dimension four. And Joel has proposed that uh, one can use Lagrangian main curve flow to study the so-called stability conditions on Foucault categories, which is an important invariance of symplectic manifolds. And so, um, to understand, um, so there is a very important conjecture related to spatial Lagrangians is due to a conjecture of Strominger, Yao, and Zaslow, and usually known as SYZ conjecture. And this conjecture says that a Calabi-Yau will admit a spatial Lagrangian torus vibration. In other words, if you have an X Calabi-Yau, then you're going to expect that uh, it has a smooth map to X, and then the fibers are torus, and they're spatial Lagrangian. And so this is an important conjecture for various reasons. So first of all, it gives a geometric description of Calabi L manifolds, which is rare kind of situation. And second, if for people who are interested in mirror symmetry, which is a black box, Julie gives some amazing prediction of enumerated geometry. And this provides a recipe for the mirror construction. And nowadays, this is the guiding principle in the fields of mirror symmetry. And in terms of geometric analysis, um, although Yao proved the existence of Ricci flat metrics in many cases, however, that it's rarely we understand the behavior of Ricci flat metrics. But the conjecture also include the behavior of Ricci flat metrics um, under certain limits, and it sort of explain its relation with certain enumerated invariants. And so this is a reach conjecture. So. I will have a, um, an example. So maybe I should say that. Um, so the first example one can have is that, um, again, it's back to elliptic curve. And
So this is a fundamental domain. And for those like, uh, so recall that the straight lines are given, give you the special Lagrangians. And so this projection here, so this map um, from the E to the curve to S1, give you an example of special Lagrangian and a case of E to the curve. And so there are the other um, non-examples are when you start with a hyperkeulic surface with an elliptic vibrations. And then one can use the so-called hyperkeulic rotation trick to make the elliptic vibrations into special Lagrangian vibrations. In general, these are the only examples that's known in the literature. And so um, the main player of the game in this talk is low Calabial manifolds. And so what I mean by that is we start with a compact, compact complex manifold with positive curvature. And usually these are known as the Fano manifolds. If I can write down a meromorphic tough form on Y with a simple pole along a divisor D, then usually we call this D the anti canonical divisor. And usually we write this D as in, we use this notation to denote that D is an anti canonical divisor. And because this capital omega, it's a meromorphic tough one with only a simple pole along D, and it's nowhere vanishing everywhere. So if we throw a Y D, then on the complement, if I call it X, then X admits a nowhere vanishing holomorphic volume form. And so this satisfy the first condition for Calabi Yao. And so the theorem of the Tian Yao is that there exists a complete Free C flat metric, namely a killer metric that solves the complex module pi equation on X. And actually it has a very ex explicit asymptotic near the divisor D. In other words, X is a Calabial manifold in the sense that I defined in the beginning. So then one can ask, question that is there a special Lagrangian vibration on X? And this is proved in the theorem that I want to talk about um, which is a joint work with Tristan Collins and Adam Jacob. So if Y is a funnel surface, so another, um, so it's a compact complex surface was positive, uh, was positive curvature. And if D is an anti-canonical divisor, which is smooth,
then x equal to y minus d admits a special Lagrangian vibration. And moreover, it admits a special Lagrangian section respect to the TNL metric that I explained earlier. So from the classification of compact complex surfaces, so this Tapazzo surface, they're either P1 times P1 or blow up a P2 at generic D points and D can vary from zero to eight. And this actually, uh, in the case of D equal to zero, in other words, which is just Y equal to the projected plan P2, this exactly uh, conjecture of a root back to uh, 2008. And this is in general a conjecture of Yao. And this is so far, I believe, there's only non trivial example not coming from hypercare rotation directly so far. So I will give you a Katrina proof. So first, we'll construct um, special Lagrangian ansatz near D. So this is Y, and there's a divisor D. And we'll construct some spatial Lagrangian torus in the neighborhood of D. So they are very they will be very close to spatial Lagrangians. That's the first step. And then everything can be um, written down quite explicit. And so we can com compute all the geometric quantity of the insets. For example, the second fundamental form, the main curvature of injectivity radius, second sectional curvature, first eigenvalues and non-collapsing constants and so on. And moreover, we'll be able to prove the smooth convergence of Lagrangian main curve flow. So let me go back to a few slides earlier. When we look at the Lagrangian main curve flow, and this equation here. If one can prove the smooth convergence, then one can see that the left hand side equal to zero. That means that Lagrange, that means that the main curvature vector equal to zero. If main curvature vector equal to zero, since J is an, um, is an isomorphism, then it's gradient theta, is equal to zero, which is equivalent saying that theta is a constant. In other words, if one run the Lagrangian main curve flow and can prove the smooth convergence, then the limit will be a special Lagrangian. And this exactly what we proved here. And I will say a little bit more on this smooth convergence. So actually, um, we can um, write down an ansatz spatial Lagrangian near a neighborhood of D. And the Lagrangian main curve flow will flow 
the spatial Lagrange, the n set spatial Lagrangians near infinity to a spatial Lagrangian vibration near infinity, which is unusual because that in general, Lagrange, one can expect, one would expect Lagrangian mean per flow might not flow a vibration to a vibration. And then a classical example is the dumbbell. One, like a, this is the, if you want to have the vibration this way, and then one can see that the, the curve in the middle will float into the middle one, while the, the, the fibers that in the other side will go the other side. And so it will not the flow uh, vibration to a vibration that will even tear the geometry. And so the reason why in this case that it can be true is some idea that couple with Lagrangian flow theory. And the idea is as follows. So as we mentioned earlier, the Lagrangian mean curve flow preserves the Hamiltonian isotopic class. And let's say if I have two and such special Lagrangian. And we use phi L and phi L prime to be in their limit. Since we claim we can prove the uh, smooth convergence, then we claim that, that they cannot be equal to each other. And this coming from a simple observation from flow theory, there is an invariance of Lagrangians called flow homology, HF. And the flow homology between the Lagrangians is invariant under Hamiltonian isotopy. And since the Lagrangian main curve flow preserve the Hamiltonian isotopy class, the, Hamil the flow homology between L and L pi and the flow homology between phi L and phi L prime should equal to each other. If there are two distinct n such spatial Lagrangian in the beginning, then L and L prime do not intersect. And so the flow homology between L and L prime should equal to zero by definition. On the other hand, if their limit of Lagrangian Minker flow coincide, then these two Lagrangians coincide, and the flow homology is reduced to the cohomology. It, it's reduced to the homology or cohomology of phi L, and which is non zero, and one leads to a contradiction. And so there is an interesting interplay between Lagrangian mean curve flow and flow theory here. Once you get um, a local vibration near infinity, one can further um, use the techniques of J holomorphic curves. Recall that now we're in a hyperkiller surface, the smooth convergence of Lagrangian mean curve flow for the n such spatial Lagrangian give us some spatial Lagrangian torus inside this hyperkiller surface. And using hyperkiller rotation, one gets some elliptic curve inside a different hyperkiller surface. Now we can use the technique of J holomorphic curve to deform the elliptic curve inside the new hyperkiller surface to form a vibration. 
And then we use the circuit theory um, to study the possible singular fibers. Now, one can know exactly what kind of this surface is using algebraic geometry. Then we can do a hyperkill rotation back to get the special Lagrangian vibration in the regional space. And that is the idea of the proof. Thank you.